Welcome back. In this video we will define a function named NOVA read XML in which we will pull weather information from Google's API. That information will come as a XML file. We will process that XML and extract the information we need to display weather information of a given place. If I copy this address where we are pulling the information from and take a look in Firefox you can see how the information is coming back to us and here I'm starting with the variable load using a PHP function called simple XML load file and loading that output of that function and assigning that output of that function to load variable and let's see what is in this load variable so this is an object which contains a lot of other information in there let's take a closer look in Firefox so the initial object load contains this whole and after that it's weather weather contains these one two three four five six elements weather then current condition forecast condition now let's take a look what is in that load weather current condition take another look we are going to see in this weather so load is the whole in that it's weather and there it's current condition let's go and save it so that we can see the effect so this is in that current condition let's move on to the next step okay now we will loop um, over each element so the current condition I'm breaking down into data and as the key VA as the value so for each value let's see what is it in that data take a closer look the data should contain condition let's save it so that we can see the effect Uh, we need to print it so that it can print the output okay so it's current condition so the key is current condition and let's see the value here what is the value as you can see in Firefox the key is the current condition value should be all these right here condition partly cloudy temperature 74 temperature Celsius 23 humidity okay let's take a look we save it and take a look so it is an object which contains this information right here okay so we will go in the value loop over the value so we are going in the value and accessing these separately let's see see those are the keys 
and then values So there is a data, party cloudy, data 74, data 23. If you take a look in Firefox, you can see this is what we are looking at. And I'm starting a new variable, final, giving the key from the key value of the information and the value of that will be value data if you want to see what is in value data let's see See, the data is the information on the weather condition of current conditions. Okay. And this final, we are getting it ready to be output. So we are placing it in a way we can use it. So let's take a look at what is in final right now. So this is an array condition is its key value is still another object. The first one is party cloudy. If you take a look here and so this is party cloudy partly cloudy. Then the temperature. Okay, let's move on to next stage. Now we will access the next element, the forecast condition. This one was single, so we just loop over it only once so these are four we will have to nest the loop inside another loop so that we can access each one of them individually so here I assign forecast condition the value of load weather forecast condition so we are going into load weather forecast condition so all these four Okay. If you want to see how I'm looping over each, so let's take a look. So I'm saying for each forecast condition as one. So what is one? So day of week if you can see here and forecast condition day of week so basically it is accessing all these right here day of week day of week day of week okay and on that we will loop with for each one as key and value. Let's see what is the key here. They are the weak. They are the weak. And let's see what is in the value. So that's Monday 74 if you look here it's Monday if 
refresh it. 74. So here I am casting it into an array so that I can access the values. Let me show you how I have changed that object. Initially it was an object. Just play a closer look. So this is an object. I am going to change it into an array. This is an object and now it's an array so I can access them more easily. And I am starting another variable final one. It's multidimensional array. The keys are the keys from here and the value is value attribute data. If you take a look so value attributes data so this Monday and this 51 that's what we're looking at let's move on to next stage Okay, in this step, the place I have replaced with a variable so that we can give it any place and it would pull that particular place um, weather condition. Okay, now in this stage we are building, I started an output, empty variable, another break so that it doesn't um, cluster, clutter the, um, the variable when we start putting everything together. So output I am placing See final, the one which we did defined here, condition, then the break from here, then final temperature. These are the keys here they were created. I'm accessing each of them individually. If you take a look here, so I am accessing each, this humidity icon condition individually so data condition temp humidity wind condition icon so I am putting all these things together and returning the output and if you take a look now that's what it provides Further, we will utilize this function which we just defined in our Drupal module and that would be in our next step. Thank you.